Juan for pedalsandeffects.com. We're here with Oz and his Dark Star basses. So, Dark Star meaning because these pickups are called Dark Star pickups that right. Fred Hammond made. <clears throat> I don't know if he makes pickups right now. He doesn't. He doesn't. So, you tell me what inspired you to make these two instruments because they're pretty cool. They're they're put together. They're not like a stock bass or anything in any way. Why don't you throw, start that and then we'll go to this one. So this is a uh, clone from a bass that was originally made for some guy named Juan. You may have heard of him. He uh, There's a thread on TalkBass.com from like 2007, 2008. Right. And uh, I just basically made this clone with Fred Hammond, Dark Stars, uh, the pair. Uh, hip shot hardware 62 reissue USA body 64 neck uh, I wired up the harness orange drops sounds great awesome it definitely does so I, I, I this, the history with me was that I, I saw a bass at a music store in Hollywood and it was a Lakeland and it was a USA model and it looked just like this but a Lakeland and I played it at that store, and I remember thinking, this thing rules, it's awesome. It was perfectly balanced, played great. So I told the guy I wanted to buy it, and it was some bass player had already purchased it. So I hit up Lakeland, and I wanted to get one, and they said, uh, we don't actually make a lot of those. And, and then the story was that they were beginning to make their own pickups, and they didn't want to make a Dark Star bass at that time. And so <clears throat> I took the idea to Fender, and I, they basically grabbed a Getty Lee uh, Fender Jazz Bass and they stuck the two Dark Stars, um, they bought two Dark Stars off of Fred, stuck them in and that was a bass that um, was used um, never on a record, but it was used when, we, when the Mars Volta played on the Henry Rollins show, which you can see on YouTube, that's where you saw it, right. maybe? You were right. talking about the Amputecture tour. <clears throat> right, yeah, I did use it on tour. But I never felt like it was fully balanced. Those pickups are just so massive and there's so much sound coming out of them that if you don't really get them balanced, the bass won't ever sound that great. And I didn't ever feel that mine ever sounded that great. Um, and so, I'm listening to Oz's and I'm not, this is not a front at all. This bass sounds awesome. So that's both pickups all up, tones all, all the way up. Now, can you back off a little bit of the, the yeah, back off the front one a little. I'm gonna go ahead and play a little. So, um, Oz, can you tell us a little bit about this one? Because it's not entirely like that one. So it's the same pickups, same bridge. This is a fretless neck. But that is a Jocko USA <clears throat> Pow Ferro fingerboard, not the uh, Jocko Custom Shop with the Rosewood. It's not epoxied. Hip Shot hardware. This one's actually got an Audair preamp in there for a little bit more flexibility. I left the pick guard off just as a Jocko homage, kind yes. of a, a Juan Jocko tribute. And yes. then it's got an aluminum bridge rather than the brass on this one, um, just for a little bit more flexibility, but I think they both sound great.
So this is what I did earlier. It gets loud as hell when you crank all these knobs up. What is this position? What is it supposed to give you? I think that adds uh, a little bit more bass. Okay, so this is would be treble then? The middle? Coloration on that. These are Oz's basses, man. Rad. Actually, I, I like it better hearing it through this amp. It's a, it's a 210 amp -ape combo than the big dude. It just has a little bit more clarity through that amp. Because sometimes, sometimes, I don't know, I just think this always sounds great with passive pickups, but active, not so much. But the solid state stuff, I just think it articulates the, the preamp a lot better. But awesome, awesome basses. Thank you, Alex. Last, uh, oh, oh, last thought, Curtis <clears throat> Novak is uh, doing Dark Star pickups, so if you can't find oh, a right. set of Fred Hammonds, you can get them through Curtis Novak. He's yeah, how do you get a hold of him? Just Google uh, I think it's just novakpickups.com. He makes all sorts of pickups, but he was able to take on the Dark Stars, I think, with uh, Fred's blessing. So. Oh, cool. So, yeah. so these are Fred's, though. They're original Fred Have you Hammonds, heard? So. Novaks, have you heard them yet? I think they're just the they're just as good. So okay. they don't have that esoteric collectability feeling to them, but they're just as good. Scott Schreiner has a pair. He said he doesn't even know what to put them in next. So I'm gonna hit him up and see if he wants to sell them. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks, Oz. Thank you, my man. Thank you very much. <laughs>